In today's Minecraft Star Let's Play, I bring to you another action-packed video. Let's just say I find a dungeon, and in that dungeon, I find something that helps us name the dog Hunter. I know I gave it away, but hey, if you don't know what it is, you'll find out in the video. If you're watching my videos like this, make sure to turn it this way, click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and go back to watching the video. I'd really appreciate that. And finally, I know we've been saying to keep on asking for 4 likes, 10 likes, and you're like, Alex, why do you ask for such little likes? Well, today Today, I challenge all of you. We're doing what we never have ever accomplished ever before. And I'm asking all of you if we can reach 1,000 likes in today's video. This is a mega challenge. So if we can reach it, I will do something epic in episode 8 of the Minecraft Star Let's Play. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoy today's video. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 7. I want to say thank you so much for the amazing support everyone's been leaving on this series. I truly do mean it and it's absolutely mind-blowing. So the first thing I want to say is we're going to be making a book. And you're going to be wondering why are we making a random book in the beginning of today's episode? Well that is because I managed to find one of our villagers who have a pretty decent trade. Now we're going to go walk over to him. He is the clerk, right? Oh, there he is. He's already talking to the butcher. What are you guys up to? <gasps> He's holding the book, guys. I am ready to buy your Fortune 2 book. I don't want any other villager to buy that from you. I want to be the first. So we are going to go ahead and give him what he wants for the Fortune 2. Now, you guys are wondering, why do we want Fortune 2? Well, that's because we only have Fortune 1 on our Ed the Pick. So it's time for us to give him the trade and get Fortune 2. Two, thank you, my good sword, for the book. You just made my day. Thank you. <laughs> that is amazing. Honestly, let me know in the comment sections if you thought that was going to be fortune too. To keep doing your stuff, man. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is going to be this dungeon. Now, this dungeon is actually inside our village. Now, I was checking out our village, and I found that there was a little, like, ravine over here. Not a ravine, but, like, a cave entrance. So, as I was going through this cave entrance, you're going to see I kind of blocked out the area that leads us to the dungeon, and it was making a a weird sound you know when you go down the uh inside like the cave mine and you can essentially hear skeletons like continuously spawning well i pretty much put my volume to a hundred and almost died from that and I finally found them. So this means in the next few episodes, probably episode 8, let me know if you guys want me to do a skeleton spawner. I think that's something that's going to be fantastic for us because then we can have a lot of XP and it would be very nice. But I have not checked out what's inside these chests. And I am really curious. You guys love the guessing game. So I'm going to have you guys guess in the comment section, what do you think we're going to get from these chests here from the dungeon? I'm just, I'm just curious to get your opinions and see what you guys think. All right. So it is a skeleton spawner, which is fantastic. I think it's one of the best ones for us to get XP from. So I'm very happy about that. So we're going to open up this chest. And okay, it's it's a little bit weak. I'm not going to lie. We have impaling too, which I think we can put on our sword, which isn't too bad. We have a saddle, meaning we can maybe get a horse as well. That will be pretty nice. And we have some beetroot, which I don't think our village has. I'm going to leave the rest of that there. You know what? Redstone is always good to add because we're going to need a rail cart system eventually. Final chest, guys. If you have it already, make sure you leave your comments down below. Let's open it up and see. Okay. I just saw the name tag. I am hyped. Okay, that's good. And we have a music disc. Ironically enough, it says cat, but we have a dog pet. That's pretty funny. Uh, we have some bones so we can feed Hunter. So yeah, this has been a really perfect area. Now, I want to grab um, a little bit of the mossy stone, mainly because this is perfect for builds. And eventually, I do want to use some mossy stone for the lighthouse. And you guys haven't even seen the lighthouse. Now, I've been doing a little bit of prep work. Oh, look at this. Okay, don't spoil me here. We got some gold. Oh, dang. Okay, that's a lot of gold. I'm pretty happy with that. We can definitely take some of that. But what? More gold. Okay, this is pretty lucky. Is that normal for a, a dungeon to have, or like a spawner to have so much gold? I don't know if that's a thing. But you guys haven't seen The Lighthouse. I actually did a stream on YouTube. If you guys don't know, I do a few streams here and there on YouTube. Um, And yeah, we were able to kind of set out the area that we want for this lighthouse. And it's a pretty good looking area. And that's where we're going to go next to. But first, we have to name... Oh. Oh, I almost had you. I almost had you. All right, let's go find Hunter. Oh, it's it's raining. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, go to bed. Real. Oh, it's not just raining. It is thundering. Oh, we have a fox. We have a trapped fox in this village, guys. You know what that means. We can potentially get a pet fox, which is pretty sick. I do have some leads because a wandering villager walked by one day. And uh, yeah, that was interesting. All right, Hunter, you're coming with me. 
we're going to be going to our handy dandy fishing hut that has oh you guys probably already saw in the top right corner the lighthouse i don't want to spoil i don't want to show you guys right away but it does look really cool hunter can you get through that oh that's what i'm talking about we got a parkour dog okay all right, it's, it's pretty much impossible to not show you guys. Check it out. Look in the distance. We have ourselves a lighthouse. Now, during the live stream, we set out the foundation for this, and I did a lot of work off screen because building the lighthouse, just the structure can be very boring. But that's why I left it like this so we can finish it off in today's episode. And I am really happy with the way this looks. I think it's fantastic. Now, don't mind that over there. That's just dirt blocks so I can get to the top without having to block all the way to the top. Some outside thinking outside the box right there. If you guys weren't aware, if you missed the stream, okay, we literally almost died. Here is a clip of what happened to hop on high pixel. That will make that happen. Oh, oh my god. 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 Can we get some rest in peace in the chat? As you can see, I wrote, rest in peace. Rule number one on this world is never dig straight down. We're going to have some more rules in this world. Hunter, I need you to pay attention, okay? Sit right there. <laughs> and then we have, we fell into a massive lava pool. Rest in peace. Yeah, that, that was crazy. Hunter, you know I almost died. Let's go ahead and name you officially. I think a lot of you guys like the name of Hunter, but we're definitely going to have some more pets, so don't worry about that. We have our anvil in here, right? So now we're going to put this in here, and we're going to name him officially Hunter. That is what I'm talking about. Hunter, where'd you go? <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay, you're playing hide and seek with me here. All right, sit down. We are going to officially thrown you as hunter the dog and there we go everyone we have officially our dog and his name is hunter you're gonna stay here because we're gonna go work on some builds here's another bone keep yourself busy fortune two i forgot about that we gotta add that to our pickaxe there we go so that's gonna give us fortune two which will give us i think like 70 percent higher chance I, I forget exactly the statistics to it but that is pretty good to have a fortune too. You guys also probably noticed I have some other iron pickaxes and that was from the live stream. We have a lot more stuff. We have a lead too. So if we bump into a fox, might as well actually take that. Why the heck not? In here, I have everything that we need to pretty much add our final touches to this world or to this lighthouse. I hear zombies too. What the heck is going on? Okay, so I'm going to grab everything that I essentially need with us so we can make this look really cool. Now, I have some basic designs. Uh, I'm going to toss that in there actually. Actually, we don't need those with us. Uh, yeah, as you guys can tell, this lighthouse is looking freaking amazing. I'm really, really happy with the way it looks. Inside, though, it's a different story. We're going to have to work on that eventually. But outside, I think it's looking really nice. So as you guys can tell, I want to know from the comment sections what your thoughts are on this. But essentially, I've been adding a polished door right around the build. I think it looks really cool. Uh, you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comment sections if you think that's like a nice idea to add to it. The main reason why I'm doing it is because it actually makes it seem a little bit more like kind of like beat down. And I think a lot of you guys were mentioning that in the comment sections to kind of make sure that the lighthouse isn't too like brand new to make it look like it's seen some storms and whatnot. And I think that's a fantastic idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep decorating a little bit around the lighthouse and you guys are going to see what it looks like when it's almost done. As you can see, this is what it looks like with the polished Dore. I think it looks so much better. It adds a little bit of a little bit more character to the build and it makes it look a little bit interesting. Even if you go in the distance you guys will see it does look really nice it kind of just feels like there is some structure and some stuff that's popping out of the walls i think that's what you want with a lighthouse because lighthouses like i said have seen storms they're not going to be perfect um so yeah i think that looks pretty perfect so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to continue adding all the polished dory all the way to the top i'm going to cut to the scene so you guys don't have to see all of that but i'll show you guys in just a second what it looks like Alrighty, so i finished adding the polished dory check it out i think that looks fantastic it definitely does look like it's seen a lot of stuff throughout the times where it's so close to the sea so it definitely feels a little bit worn out and i think it adds a lot more character to the lighthouse so i am very happy with that let me know in the comment sections what your thoughts on that are but i think it looks really really good so as you guys can tell there's still a lot of missing parts to it like one of them is where the heck are our light gray stained glass so let me show you guys the pattern as you can see it's a trap door uh two blocks fences two blocks and then an upside down staircase so the slabs are gonna go like this two slabs here I just realized we don't need that slab it's too many and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add ourselves the fence posts which are gonna go down like this perfect 
I really like it. I think it's going to look really nice when it's all done all the way around. Let's go ahead and add the glass. I think that looks so good because it looks like there's nothing there, but there is enough where you can tell that there is a window, and I think that looks really nice. So let's go continue to do the same on this side. As you can tell, this side does not have anything. Now, where the heck is our axe? Do we not have, we have to make a diamond axe. We don't have one, which is crazy that we don't have one yet. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here and place our slabs like this, perfect. And then all we have to do is add a staircase, which is already there. Now the rest of it here is going to be slabs going across. Now you guys can tell that the bottom level looks a little bit different from the top. That's because I don't want it to be overpowering like part of the lighthouse. I want it to feel a little bit nice and kind of have a symmetrical feeling because as you go to the top, it gets a little bit more detailed. Uh, so I just want to keep it looking really nice overall. So let's go add the rest of our glass here. Where does it go? It keeps on disappearing. Where It's so difficult to spot, guys. There it is, 28. It, you guys, it's it's not like the texture pack or anything because I'm not using a texture pack, but it is really difficult to spot it. And the view here is amazing. Now, I don't know what I want to do with the top. I have lanterns for now, but eventually that's going to change 100%. Uh, but yeah, we have to jump down here. So here we go. Take some fall damage. That was actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to do the same thing by adding on every side here a little bit of a slab. And that way, you'll see when it's all complete, I think it will look pretty nice. All right, everyone. So I've added a few more details to the whole place so far. As you can tell, I've added the windows down below. And I also added some trap doors on the top of the block. So that way, it looks a little bit different, adds a little bit more detail. And same with the top. I've added, so as you can tell, the windows are not exactly by two. This one is by one. And the top one is by two. That way, I think it adds a little bit more detail to it. And all the way around, it's just very simple and very cool looking. I think this lighthouse is coming along super, super nice. We we'll definitely have to add some more details to it. But as we go to the top, I've done a few things up here that I thought looks really good. Is to have a little, uh, like balcony like little uh shelf not shelves i can't even think of it like essentially like a small little uh table or like a balcony whatever you want to call it i can't even think of the term right now you guys can save oh oh that was a close one so let's grab the rest of our white uh what's it called this is white concrete by the way if you didn't know i'm just gonna place it like this and what i want to do is to have a double block here and then have a block on each side like this now, I'm pretty sure from out there, you won't be able to see it. But if I add lanterns like that, I think we'll be able to see the lanterns up here, um, which would be really cool if we can actually manage for this to like look pretty good. Now, in the meantime, I think this looks really, really decent. I want to add some glass maybe. See, that's the problem. We can't really add glass around here to like make it kind of enclosed as of right now so i'm gonna leave it open which i don't have a problem with i don't think you guys are gonna mind too much but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this side we're gonna break all this dirt and i want to go see how it looks from the top i'm pretty happy with the way everything has turned out so far with this build i think you know what we're gonna leave that dirt no i feel like a lot of you guys are gonna have like ocd or something be like that dirt block needs to be destroyed or else i can't fall asleep <laughs> so we're gonna go and take the rest of these down Alrighty, so there you have it guys that is the lighthouse it looks absolutely amazing i think from a distance it only continues to get better and grow on me we're going to be adding some more decorative stuff to this guys like i said this is all we could do in one episode and i think it looks absolutely amazing and the lantern the lanterns actually look pretty good from up top Trading villager. I knew I heard you from somewhere. Okay, what do you... Oh, uh, you really don't sell anything good. All right, but yeah, that's about that, guys. I think this lighthouse is looking super nice. I think we did a very good job in today's episode. Isn't that right, Hunter? Hunter was watching us build this whole time, which is great. And I think it looks super, super cool. There's definitely some other things I will add to it eventually. I might even increase the height of it. But I think as of right now, it looks perfect. We're going to have to do some work on the inside. And yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was pretty actually impact we had a lot of stuff done so if you guys haven't already make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and yeah guys thank you again for the amazing support let me know down below in the comment sections anything else you want to see on the survival let's play and that's pretty much it guys i'll see you guys next time with another minecraft star let's play my name is alexon peace out and stay foxy